Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jesse with MuzzleFlare.com and today I'm bringing you the tabletop review for the Umarex Steel Storm BB Pistol. So this is it, but before we get into this, let's set this aside and bring in the box. So this is the box mine came in, as you can see, Steel Storm by Umarex. It has a 300 round reservoir, shoots at an advertised... 430 frame or feet per second, 300 round reservoir, got a built in magazine, 30 rounds, it's semi auto or, see where's that, 6 round burst. Alright, shoots steel BBs, which is 177 caliber or 4.5 millimeter. And then inside the box, when you open it, your gun will be sitting in here, and it comes with some little ad advertisement things like this. Alright, for sights and other accessories and other guns they have. Some safety, safety papers. Okay. Uh, some more instructional stuff. And then here is the main instructional booklet. And it just tells you the basics about the gun. And English and Spanish. And that's about it as far as the box goes. Alright, so let's close this back up. And sit over the side. And get into the gun. So like I said, this is the Umarex Steel Storm BB Pistol. Shooting 177 caliber or 4.5 millimeter steel BBs at about 430 frames per feet per second. Excuse me, not frames per second. It's primarily made of polymer except for the little barrel tip here which is made of a steel it's got a 300 round reservoir as you can hear the BB's rattling around in there and that is accessed through this piece here Just slide it back put your BB's in there it holds up to 300 of them slide it forward and you're good to go the magazine is right in here as you can see I already have a couple BB's loaded in there just to show you so how this works you slide it back push down it locks into place here and then you just shake it as more BBs go in there as you can see and this will hold up to 30. I'll flip it around to the other side to show you real quick. There's not too much with this side. It's just real basic. Not much can be done. Put back on this other side you got your safety here. Alright so this little tab pushed up means it's on safety. As you can see there's a little S there. You take it and push it down. You got a little red dot there to show that it's ready to fire. Alright, this little here thing here selects the fire rate. So this bottom one indicates a six round burst. So you can see there's these six little uh, bullets flying. So that's six round burst and if you take this and flip it up, that is the semi-auto mode. Alright, and when you're getting ready to shoot this, just pull this back and cock it and then you'll be good to go. So moving on down here to the uh, little where it holds the CO2. Holds this down here in the little grip. You can get to that by pressing this little button here. Pull down. You can see it'll still be locked. So that's where this comes into play. You push that as well. Then it comes out. I don't have any CO2 in here right now. So I'll show you guys how that works here. So over here off to the side. I've got two CO2 cartridges. They're already used. So I'm not putting in fresh ones. But this does take two CO2 cartridges. So what you do here is you just take off this bottom tab and that exposes all this down here. And housed within this is this little piece here, little wrench that you take to screw in the CO2 capsules. Since you got that, you just slide them in. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. There we go. Get that one in there as well. And then you're just going to take this there we go, in there, and just screw it in. Do the same thing with the other side, and of course if I was using a uh, fresh CO2 capsule you guys would hear a little, little hiss of stuff leaking out, but that is all it takes to uh, install your CO2. Then once you're done, just take this a little bit, a little wrench, place it back in here like so, then it just snaps back on. Alright, then just 
put it back in. Make sure CO2 is facing the same way that the uh, safety and all that is. Push it in there until it clicks. You'll always be able to see just that little outline down there, but it's in there all the way. And that is it for the Umarex Steel Storm BB Pistol Review. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Uh, if you want to check out the article review that I have, links down in the description below at my website, muzzleflare.com. If you guys have any additional questions for this gun, be sure to leave me a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. I'll also be having a field test shooting review for this coming out here at the end of the week on Friday, so you can stay tuned for that if you want to see how this gun shoots. And I can tell you it shoots very, very well and is very fun to shoot. So aside from that, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Again, you go check my website out, muzzleflare.com. I also have the very cheapest link to go buy this gun down in the description below as well. So aside from that, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Have a nice day, and peace out.